Yeah, did you know, um, I'm getting increasingly anxious. I can't figure out why. It's all good, man. I get this weird feeling Dude. of... Like, you know what I feel like right now? I'll tell you what I feel like right now. Yeah. You remember in the original uh, Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory? Yes. When he's, Gene Wilder's like, Rowing, rowing, never slowing, never knowing where we're going, never stopping, always rowing. <laughs> and you get this feeling of like, I don't know what's going to happen next, but it's probably not good. Yeah. And then some girl turns into a blueberry or something. Yeah. That's what I feel like. Daniel. I feel this weird Daniel, unease. you should be feeling nothing <sighs> but wonderful and appreciated because of the upswelling of support for you and against me is completely unanticipated. Yeah, but I feel like it's so no obvious. No idea that would happen. I feel like it's so obvious. In a Rex month. We are all the point. being baited. <laughs> baited, I tell you. You guys don't understand what you're doing, right? This could have all been fine. I feel like we're headed to something that could have been avoided. Right. And you guys are taking us down the wrong path here. We're gonna just glide in for a nice, easy, nice, easy, smooth, buttery landing. Yeah. Coasting right into the final episode of you the You know what makes it worse? Yes. That the ending of Rex Month is also Halloween. Oh, is it? Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. I it? did not know. Whatever. That's what we were leading to. Whatever. Oh. You mean, uh, who knew? You mean a horror story? <laughs> Can I have some whiskey? Because I really need some whiskey right now. Oh, look uh, at, look. I want to pour you a fancy bourbon. A bourbon, okay. Yeah. So, I really liked... because Did you I, like Angel's Envy? I think people will agree. The level that you stepped up to with that glass of Johnny Walker Red. <laughs> that, was, that was inspiring. Dude, praise from your enemies is terrifying praise I was inspired. Indeed. I was inspired. Uh, okay. Just the precision okay. and the, the deftness okay. of those notes. <laughs> What's the budget bourbon you're gonna drink? No, we no, we settled that that didn't work. Because you ended up never giving tasting notes for the fancy whiskey. I will give way more tasting notes. All right, if you promise. Way more. Okay. At least three times as many. How about Angel's Envy? Yeah. You like that? Is it fancy? Holy crap. Uh, it's coming down now. The rain just kicked in. It always seems to rain nearing the end of Rex month. It does. The sky is crying. <laughs> so is is Angel's Envy fancy? Well, this is the special edition released cast okay. strength version. There we go. Man, these just wood boxes. Angel's Envy cask strength. It looks like. Thanks to the interwebs, I can tell you this is around six hundred dollars. Oh, wow! Damn, I didn't even know that. No, you can find it a little cheaper. You can find it for three hundred. This is somewhere between three and six hundred dollars, depending on which shop you find it. Okay, in. I don't think I even knew that. So, what is the? You can't pour in here. Best selling. You're not a song. Rex month. I want to pour. Give it to me. Give it to me. There you go. Give it to me and put it in my hand. There's your Angel's Envy. Thank you. No, 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 no. You're not allowed to pour. You're not a psalm in the vault. There we go. Uh, how come that didn't work? Because normally I say that to a room like of like 15 people and everyone's like, oh, 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 my bad. I don't know. I my bad. It's just, it's just, it's been spotty, Daniel. Your ability to deny me. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. It's almost as if... There's been some holes punctured in your defenses. Nah, that's not possible. Okay, so, I'm gonna give something that Mitch, w Mitch Weddle brought us. Is it budget? Kentucky Tavern. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's in Kentucky Tavern cost. Yeah. Some people like the screw top. I prefer the synthetic corks. Kentucky Tavern whiskey. 10 to $15. <laughs> right on. <laughs> right on. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna give so many more notes for this. Okay. And if you feel compelled to step in, that's a lot of promises. I said three times as many. <laughs> Still only six words. Ooh. Am I going first? Go ahead. Okay. On the nose, it actually does just smell like a simple, classic, slightly cherry bourbon. Mm-hmm. You get uh, a little more of the corn dust, the sort of dusty. Corn dominant note, right? Mm -hmm. But 
And it is straight bourbon whiskey. Mm hmm So there's no neutral grain spirit in it. It's a, it smells slightly brown sugary. Wow. Um, that's Cask Strength. What six, is that? 64%. Holy sh sh cannoli. 64%. Holy cannoli. Oh, there's a cannoli. Uh, this is... Wait, I'm getting a little more rye in here than I did on my first nosing. So there's that slight rye spice. Yeah. It actually smells not unpleasant. Okay. It smells like a... It's a bourbon, right? You got poured this, you go, oh, it's a really shiny bourbon. It also has that same really bright sparkly nose mm -hmm. that's like alcohol shiny sure i'm betting it's still at 40 though it is yeah sure uh it's totally invisible really yeah that went down like water there's a very big color difference here <laughs> no kidding Duh. yeah that went down like it was just water it reminds me of when you put a big rock in ice rock in uh bourbon yeah and you get to the very, very last sip, mm -hmm. and it still tastes like bourbon because yeah. you had a rock and it didn't melt into pure water. Sure. But it's definitely watered down bourbon. Okay. Right? It tastes like really bland kind of watered down bourbon. It doesn't taste bad. There's no weird bitterness. Mm -hmm. There's no foul, offensive things. It's just mild, unimpressively simple bourbon flavor. This, at 64%, do you believe it? It's 64%. It is an aggressive balancing of cherry and wood and a black tea. Cherry, wood, black tea. And Those then I'm getting- tasting notes. Yeah. And then uh, just the, the hotness of that 64% stays with you from beginning to end. You can't get away from that. That is such a high proof. Yeah, so there was a little on the Kentucky, a little bit of barrel bite at the very, very, very end mm -hmm. of the taste. I get, but it took forever to get there. Barrel bite right out of the gate. I mean, that's the first thing. First thing that's going to bite your tongue. It's almost like a sour, bitter, woody jaw. Now that I spread it around my tongue, it turns slightly pine. Yeah. Pine wood. Yeah. I really want to try the. Uh, Do you feel like I did a good enough job? I think you did a much better job. What yesterday? You still. But I just really want to try it. You still insist. I you? just want to try it because it's right here. It's, it's just right here. We already have it out. I never get this out. And I don't want to miss the opportunity. Mm. We already did the comparison. We're done with that now. This is part two, where I also get to try the fancy whiskey. Mm. Oh, that was the premise? Yeah, that the was... premise is this is part two. Yeah. We already did your premise oh. successfully. So... Successfully, I might add. So you're shoehorning in some of your premise. Yeah, just because I want to try some of the whiskey. In the Rex, That's all. In the Rex Month. No, I'm not shoehorning in. I'm joining in. I'm joining in on Rex Month. That's what I'm doing. Okay. I'm joining in. On Rex Month. Crashing the party. <laughs> I like wedding crashers. Whoa! <coughs> That's sharp. Yeah. Molasses-y. Super rich. I'm gonna add a little water to that. See what happens. Wow. That's a... <clears throat> that affected me a lot more than normal. Normally cask strength is not a big deal because I actually really like the higher proof whiskeys, but I'm having a struggle with that one. Mm. It's reminding me of George Stagg where it felt like it's fighting me a little bit. I mean, this whole episode was set up to have you tap into those skill sets and for the, <coughs> the performance to be a little flaccid. It's just a little disappointing. Man, I can't get past the bitey, barely proofy Molasses burn. Mm. Yeah, right? Mm. Yeah. Just walk right into that one. That'll jangle your <laughs> Jangle, jangle. Doop, 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 doop. Mm, mm, mm. Don't milk me. Bit a bit a bit a bit a bit. So, a fancy bourbon versus a budget bourbon. Yeah, it's just, um. Do, do you say this is like 10 to $15 and this is hundreds of dollars? Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Is it? Always the case whenever you get under $20, it's going to be a cocktail kind of situation. I sort of feel like it, yes. Okay. At what price point do you think? Let's limit it to bourbons. 25. 25, you can start getting stuff that on its own. 25 to 30. Okay, that's when everything starts to, get, to be good and neat. Rule of thumb, right? 25 you, to 30. If you have exceptions to that, if you know something under 25, let's call it, yeah. that is really nice, neat, let us know in the comments. 
Also, give Daniel a lot more support, man. He needs it. No, 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 no. You're playing into his plan. You guys just don't even know. It's good. It's all good. <laughs> it's so good. We've only got one day left before this thing is over. Two days. You haven't been enjoying it. Tomorrow's gonna be no. I here's the problem. You, I have. The problem is it, because, I have. <laughs> That's the problem, Rex. I have, and that makes me increasingly uncomfortable. You know what? I think it's guilt for all the times that I set parameters, and then you just say, "Screw it, I'm gonna do what I want." No, that's definitely not it. No, I killed my conscience years ago. Karma's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.